So now let's talk about the third kind of uh, widget, the slider. And to do that, I'm going to add a new object. Uh, one important thing you need to know is that you cannot have the same parameter controlled by more than one widget. So because I've already messed with a bunch of those, I'm just creating a new object here to, uh, to demonstrate this third widget here. So I'm going to my favorite rig. I'm going to create a new slider. And a slider is just like a pop-up. Okay, it's just like a pop-up, but instead of being just a number of states that you can choose from, you can create a number of states, or what we call snapshots, and you can move between them. So here we start with one snapshot at the beginning and one snapshot at the end. The first one is highlighted there. So when I click Edit Mode, I am assigning now the values for the starting, the starting point of the slider. So I'm going to put this uh, rectangle, let's position it somewhere. Let's, uh, let's just uh, control the rotation. So I'm going to just animate the rotation a little bit. And we'll change the color, open our dashboard here, and change that to be red. And then let's say that's enough. So that becomes our the settings we're going to want. I say stop, edit, stop rig edit mode. Let's go back and look at our slider. And you'll see that now the parameters that are assigned are the rectangle one, the, the well, I can't quite read it because the window's not big enough, but basically the parameters, the color, rotation, and position. Those are the three parameters I messed with. Now let's go to the end. So I'm going to... Let's go to the end, and you see that automatically it returns to the default state, right, for those parameters. And I don't need to say edit rig mode if I'm just going to change the same parameter. So if I'm just going to move this thing and, you know, rotate it and change the color, uh, right, if I'm just m manipulating parameters that are already listed in that rig, I don't need to add, enable the edit rig mode. And so now let's go to the, my favorite rig. And you see here now, as I animate here, as I move the slider, I'm getting an animation between those two parameters, right? And so this enables you to do a lot more interesting things than either the checkbox or the pop-up menu. And you can add more. So I can go in the middle and double click and add a third snapshot, right? You can add as many snapshots as you want. So now I've got a third snapshot. And for this snapshot in the middle, I'm just gonna change the color to green. Now, if I move between the first keyframe or the first snapshot and the second one, I get that setting. And then from the second one to the third, I get that one. And so you're seeing the, the potential here, right? You can have as many snapshots as you want, and you can move those snapshots around if you want. You can basically build a really interesting complex slider. And again, this can be controlling. I'm just using it to control one simple object, but this can be controlling anything anything that you can assign a parameter to. So the font or the shape or the tone of these uh, of the letters could be added to that snapshot. You know, I mean the you know the limits are really endless here. You can you know work with particle systems and generators and all those elements and everything can be controlled by these different rigs. And then you just publish that one slider. Let's just go ahead and publish the slider. Save, go to Final Cut Pro and then in Final Cut Pro Here we have our the checkbox that we talked about earlier, and now we have the slider that's going to animate that object, or again, whatever parameters you might have chosen to set. So it, it's an incredibly powerful and versatile tool. These rigs enable you to do really, really cool stuff.